All right, so my name is Sarah Hussain, and I am here with my guests Leonard and Genesis Franks. Genesis uh, just recently won first place at the statewide invention convention. Genesis, what was your science project? My science project was quick response to bullying and stranger danger. Okay, and what was your motivation behind this? My motivation was the Newtown, Connecticut shooting. Okay. And I didn't want that happening into Oklahoma public schools or anywhere anywhere else. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so can you tell me a little bit about how it works? What is it? Okay, this project is, the purpose of it is to notify teachers and principals when bullying's occurring and a stranger is in the building. Okay, all right. So um, exactly how does this, is this uh, the wristband that someone wears? Well, this is the bully response bracelet. Okay. Every kid, well not every kid, the teacher will pick the students to wear this bracelet. Mm -hmm. So they'll get their phone out if they see Billy and caring, and they'll s scan the bracelet or the QR code. Right. So they'll scan it. And then this is the principal's phone. Mm -hmm. They're just in their office doing something, I don't know, because I'm not a principal. <laughs> so it will take them to a form. They'll say bullying in the gym. Then they'll say submit. Then it will take them to a website. Now this is the principal's phone. Now the principal will get a text message saying, bullying in the gym. Okay, all right. Well, that is a very, very wise idea that you came up with. And I'm very impressed that you guys, that you won. It's a very, very big accomplishment. So, Mr. Franks, how, how do you feel about this wonderful accomplishment of Genesis? Well, I think it's a great uh, accomplishment. I mm -hmm. think it's gonna be something that's gonna be useful not only in the Oklahoma City School District, but all school districts. Okay because it allows a quick response to the uh, bullying incident and or a stranger in the building. Right. And this puts the students uh, uh, as eyes, more eyes in the building, places that maybe the principals are not gonna be there or teachers. Mm -hmm. And with this notification, uh, she's able to program in everybody's cell phone in the building. Okay. Teachers, staff, uh, custodians, resource officers, and they can be the first responders let's say if an incident takes place in the cafeteria, whether the cafeteria workers are notified also. Right. So they can respond. So I think this is just gonna add another le level of safety in buildings and then it also, um, it's, it's an anonymous uh, situation. So okay. mm -hmm. th a big thing going on in the school district is snitching. Right. And so this eliminates uh, the bully from maybe finding out who's actually telling on him or her and uh, we think that this is going to be re reduce and, and give the bully something to be thinking about why he or she is trying to bully. Okay, all right. Um, so do you think that uh, anyone is going to be using this idea in the future for schools? Mm -hmm. That's my question. Yes, yes I do. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you know who and if it's already, if you guys are already in the talk? Well, we have, uh, we, we, we would out looking and wanting to take this to another level okay. and you know we're reaching out to people and, and software developers and hopes that we can go from where we've taken it to another level we've taken it kind of as far as we can go with the amount of you know technology experience that you know Jesus and I both have that we would take it to another level with somebody that has some more experience in putting this up uh, on the on, on an actual cell phone opportunity right. or as an app okay all right, well, I really appreciate you guys coming out and talking to me today.